Hello everybody, it's December 29th, 2021 in Big Bear, California. We are starting this drive in Big Bear City, pretty much the furthest point, not quite Baldwin, but just because it's, it's starting to really pick up and I want you guys to see it go from lighter to heavier the further we go this way. Continue on to North Shore and Drive. If we can get, if we can get uh, a few less cars coming towards us so I can turn on the brights a little bit so you guys can see. In 2.4 miles, turn left onto Stanfield Cutoff. GPS was automatically taking me home. Sorry about that, you guys. So yeah, it's starting to come down a little bit. I know you can't tell right now, but once we pass these cars up here a little bit, I'll hit the bright so you can see. But once we get back into Big Bear Lake, it's definitely coming down a lot, a lot heavier. I mean, not a lot heavier, but heavier. I don't know if you can even tell. I, I think you can, because I can see it through the screen Let me turn on my lights. when I first moved up here one thing I noticed was that so many people keep their brights on when they're driving towards you it gets so irritating sometimes I don't do that I always turn off my brights if someone's coming at me and sometimes because my car's lifted they think that my brights are on now they're on. Now we might get a little stretch here where we can see the snow. There's the mountain ranges over to the left that get a lot of snow. Bear Mountain Snow Summit. And turn the brights off. I don't know if it's, if, if it's going to be after this video or the next one where I'm going to have to go to sleep, but I'm going to have to do something. I wish I could take like melatonin or like Benadryl, but it just gives me like restless leg syndrome for some reason. So I can't take anything. It's unfortunate. such a small little area an eight mile valley like you'll, it's just such a huge difference in the amount of snow so we are now officially on Stanfield cutoff map just changed on me because we just turned there's the lake over there Guys, with the ski resort lights on, it's really nice. The roads seem to be pretty good so far, you guys. No issues at all yet. I'm thinking it's snowing a lot harder on your guys' drive up here, though. Like on Highway 18 on the front side. So just be very careful, have your tire chains. When it's really snow and heavy, we wouldn't even be able to see, see Snow Summit. We're going to get off the main road here. Take these side roads so we can use our brights. See how much it's snowing.
you know, something is so beautiful at night time. And during the day, of course. But with all the night lights on there, it's really nice. I think people are skiing right now and snowboarding, so that's cool. Turning on the Fox Farm Road, and we're going to stay on this through the neighborhood. We're going to take this all the way to Knight Avenue, and then Knight drops you off next to Taco Bell on Big Bear Boulevard, and then we're going to continue on Big Bear Boulevard from there. Get a, just get a foot of snow here. I promise I'll be very thankful. I'm so tired, like, I'm too tired to even eat, and I'm so hungry, but I don't want to make anything, and I don't want to stop and, and go eat anywhere. Maybe I'll order a pizza, but I'll be asleep by the time they get to my house. In this type of weather, man, it takes hours and hours for Domino's, but it's because everyone's ordering from them. second to last video for the night because I'm not going to let you guys down. Once it starts really coming down, I'm not going to let you guys down. I'm just worried that if I fall asleep, even just for like one hour, then I'm not going to wake up. Or well, once I wake up, I won't get back to sleep. That'll be a problem. Meadow Park to the right. They got a baseball field and a bunch of other little activity areas. dead ends at Knight Avenue. If you go too far, then you'll be in the parking lot here, so you know where to go. And Knight will take you right next to Taco Bell and Denny's, right in between. And we're going to get to Big Bear Boulevard up here and hang right. Okay, this is where we're at, according to the lake. Taco smell and Lenny's to the left. Nice, traffic's not too bad. Tomorrow I'm anticipating either a ton of traffic or none at all. Depending on how heavy this storm hits us.
text message, but we're, 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 turning, we're turning through the village right now. Oh, yeah. Well, not quite right now, but as soon as the light turns green. Turn this off so we don't have to wait at the light because this isn't going to turn green. But here we go. Let's go into the village. This is one of my favorite places to stay, Robin Hood Resort. It's just central, centrally located. And um, what, before I used to live here, I used to visit often, and we'd, we'd stay there, or I'd stay there after my mom got rid of her house in Lake Arrowhead. We had a vacation house up there, which was very nice growing up. The village looks mighty packed. Everybody's out having a good time, enjoying dinner. It's dinner time right now, it's 6.30. snow let up a little bit over here but it's gonna start definitely definitely picking up as I said we're gonna go through the rest of the village and then go a little bit into more Big Bear Lake and then we're gonna turn back around and take the back streets so, or actually you know what I think I will stop at the Taco Bell drive through it didn't look like there were many people there so as long as I can make it quick we're good look at this fire it's so nice Jack in the crack. I used to love Jack in the box. When you live up here for so many years and there aren't that, that many food options, it's like, it's like, what are you gonna eat? And even though I went to culinary school, the Art Institute for Culinary Management, I, I'm a terrible cook. I'm very good at delegating, but I'm a terrible cook. This is so beautiful in here. I wish it was dumping right now, but it did pick up, so I do the videos, you know, any, any change, and it was a good change. It's so cool to see families out here having fun, man. I really hope you guys are having a great time. My best friend's up here, and I'm not even, I'm not even gonna get to see him because I'm, I'm so busy doing this, and then I have to sleep, and I don't know how long they're gonna be staying. heavier I'm gonna come back out
getting some more snow. As I said, the further you go this way, the more snow. Wow, it's just started coming down really heavy right here. It's kind of cool. Just out of nowhere. texted me asking me if Benadryl would work for me and unfortunately I just mentioned to you guys that unfortunately not it'll make me even more awake so I'm just gonna have to man up man up man up somehow but I'll do it I'm not gonna let you guys down not for any reason Especially when the street lights are really bright when it's snowing. It's just heaven for me. Truly heaven for me. Ooh. Nice new pothole on the road. And now what's that sound? Great, there's a sound being made now. Hope I didn't pop a tire. that'll be an issue I didn't realize it but I've used I have two AAA premier memberships and I've used every single one of the six service things just in the past year but it was four of them was helping other people saved someone like almost a thousand bucks because they had to be towed a long way and I had I think I get like one or two hundred mile tows per membership. So yeah, I was I was glad I, I was I was able to help, to help them out like that. But the reason why I have so many premier memberships is because of what I do up here. If I get stuck, I, I want to try to get help as soon as possible. I said, you guys will have a lot more energy tomorrow, I promise. But it is coming down. As I said, it basically just arrived, so it's not really the super heavy stuff yet. Because this rate of snow will never get a foot. So it's got to pick up, and it's going to pick up, I guarantee you. I'm interested to see what it looks like in the morning. And also, I hope you guys aren't, aren't gonna be too upset about the, the time lapse. It's probably gonna be like a 20 minute time lapse video, you guys, because it's gonna be from all these days, uh, uh, from the last storm to these two, like day and a half off of storms, because we weren't supposed to have this much time in between storms. That's why I left it going. So I hope you guys aren't bummed about that.
Anyway, I think we're gonna end this at Taco Smell parking lot. Because I am gonna go to Taco Bell. I think. My luck now, that'll be like the longest line ever. But that's okay. The roads are still pretty good, guys. I mean, I haven't had one issue at all, nothing. People, for the most part, seem to be driving pretty safe. I'll give you guys props for that. When I first moved up here, I would drive like a bat out of hell because I was so used to traffic down the hill. So, like, uh, so it, it was just nice not being in traffic and I would haul some serious butt up here, not smart. All right, we are at Taco Bell. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I love you guys. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I appreciate it. You take care and we'll be doing another video shortly. Woo.